All right, y'all, we're set up in this spot. It's about 10 feet deep out in the middle, six or so feet on the sides here, and there's some good brush up and downstream. So I'm thinking it's gonna be nice. The current's not too fast in here. I'm really hoping we can catch a good fish. We're just throwing uh, cut shad. I think he might be throwing a shiner. Uh, so let's start fishing. I'm gonna set out two big rods and one little rod. Got him. Oh, you got him? Where's my phone? Where's the phone? Still on? Dang, y'all, I hadn't even set up yet. I was shooting the intro. Come on, oh, man. I think you ran me up under the log. Well, get out there and get him. Oh, it's a little flathead. <laughs> you want to bring him over here? He's under a... All right, there he is, y'all. That's a little baby flathead. The goal is to catch one about 20 times that size or 30 times that size, but we'll see. And he's gone. How are you feeling? First fish of the day. You win the award. You have a statement? Hey, I caught a channel cat. Oh, that's right. You caught a channel cat a minute ago. It was really cool. Oh, ho, ho. Missed him? Yeah, I missed him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, he caught a channel cat a minute ago, so I'll toss up a clip of that. There's one. Got him. Not very big. Yeah, it's feeling like a blue or a channel just because he's bouncing around. <laughs> yes! <laughs> On the board with a fat little channel, dude. The hook's bigger than his head. It's a beautiful specimen of a channel cat, though. It's like the ideal. It's got speckles on him, aren't they? I mean, they're kind of pretty. Okay, don't don't do that. Michael hooked a uh, spotted gar. Isn't that pretty? They actually are really pretty for for gar. Look at those wild teeth. All right, we're gonna get him unhooked. I cannot believe he hooked him. Fish grips coming in handy. Coming in real handy, right? We're gonna let him go. All you gotta do is snap him. He's gone, just like that. Well, y'all, I'm trying to fish, but Michael's got no pliers and he keeps on catching gar. He's got an alligator gar right there. <clears throat> let me get my fish grips out. We'll get a better look at him for you. All right, he seems to have calmed down. They call him alligator gar, not only because of the teeth, but also their snout. Looks like an alligator. Prehistoric animals. Look at his eye. Very, very cool. Pretty good eating, too. I mean, this one's, you know, 15, 20 pounds. All right, he's unhooked now. Look at that big old mouth, y'all. That's crazy. Here, stick your hand down there for size. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let him go now. And he's gone. Catch him on Shad? Yep. Shad, right there. Let's keep going. Let's try and catch some catfish now. What do y'all think? Do I reel down now? Or do I wait? I'm gonna reel down now. Should have waited. Damn. Oh, you, you get him? All right, Michael's got another alligator gar. You know, if we're gonna catch gar, I'd rather catch alligator gar than long nose. I'm gonna get him unhooked. All right, he's unhooked. We're gonna... Oh, I thought he was about to flip out there. Goodbye. Man, those things stink, dude. All right, Michael's hooked up. He says it's heavy. 
That's a good head shake, dude. I don't know what it is. Come on, get him up. Get him up. Get him up. What is it? Oh, he's back down. It's got to be a cat, man. Look at that boil from his tail. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's a car. <laughs> no. Why? Why? Why is he staying? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm coming over there. I gotta start this camera. Oh man, I thought for sure that was a catfish. The way he was sitting on the bottom, not on the bottom, but staying down. God. Oh, I gotta reel these rods in. Here, we'll sit here till he tires himself out. <laughs> You're gonna get some time. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving for my camera gets soaked. <laughs> Let me know when he's done. <laughs> Don't you do it! <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Yeah, my camera's already wet. There he is. We're just waiting for him to tire out a little bit more before I go in there with fish grips. Because it's a different story with this one. <laughs> Well, I got on the bank and I was gonna pull that gar up with his rope, but the hook ended up getting thrown, which is okay. It's a little easier that way. It's three o'clock now, so we're gonna head on down river and try and fish some good catfish spots now that the time's getting to be pretty good. Try and land at least one decent catfish. All right, let's get to it. Another little channel cat. Well, I was going to tell y'all it's 5 o'clock, but I got a fish, so let's see if it's catfish. Yeah. He dropped it. It was a gar. It's kind of how it's been going for the past couple of hours. Just a lot of hits, not a lot of fish. All right, fish on. Fish off. Oh, hey. I think it's a gar. I can't tell because he's not coming up. Yeah, it's, it's a gar. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. He's tied up in my uh, stink bait now. A little bit. Super tied up in stink bait, dude. Holy cow. Don't do that. Don't do this to me. You done? Are we done? Well, not done yet. Nope, don't you do it. Boom, y'all, alligator gar. Now my hand smells like, smells like what that fish looks like. <laughs> there he goes. All right, Michael's hooked up on another, you guessed it, a gar. All right, I guess I'm gonna start reeling in and come over there because you don't have fish grips or pliers. Dude, you got, he's got, he's using these like, what do you call these? Kale. Kale hooks. Big old giant gap on there. They are hooking the gar perfectly. They don't, like perfectly. Another one. Man, like a torpedo straight in the water. All right, y'all. It is 7.31. We're losing light. 
gonna go ahead and pack it up. We were gonna stay after dark, but the lack of catfish during the day does not have me super enthusiastic about staying after dark out here, especially with the amount of mosquitoes. So we're gonna pack it up. Hope you all enjoyed watching those gar get caught. That's a sandbar that I just slammed into with my Hobie. Just like y'all are gonna slam the like button. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.